Central Coast ag leaders are on the lookout for the European grapevine moth. Their larvae are capable of doing some serious damage to our local vineyards. The insects were first detected last September in the Napa Valley. So far, they have not been found on the Central Coast, but crews are out setting traps looking for the pest. Steve Adamson visited an Arroyo Grande vineyard today where technicians were on the hunt for the tiny pest. Here and mm -hmm. We'll get to the end of the row here. And Hi. Agricultural technicians walk among the vines of the Letitia Vineyard, scouting out places to set up traps for the European grapevine moth. The pest has led to quarantines in the Napa Valley wine region, and even wiped out an entire vineyard in Napa County. It's a very simple little uh, trap. It's full of sticky stuff in the middle here. We will bait it with a non-toxic pheromone trap, or a little bait, and what this will do is attract the male moths to come in, and they'll be uh, checked every two weeks. One trap set for every 20 acres. We place them so that they are, the flight paths will come straight down the vineyard row and be attracted to the bait that's inside. Obviously the vineyard hopes that no moss will find their way here, but in a couple of months time the traps will tell the story whether or not any moss have found their way to the vineyard. Vineyard workers are spending extra time these days closely monitoring their vines for signs of the moth. We're always concerned about, you know, new new pest outbreaks, anything that can, you know, cause damage to the grapevines, things that we don't know, things we don't know how to control yet and, and what the ultimate impact is. For now, it's a waiting game as most local vineyards hope the moth steers clear of the central coast. Now, if the moth is detected in our area, the State Department of Food and Agriculture would come up with an eradication plan that could include quarantines that restrict the movement of certain agricultural products. We're live in the San Luis Obispo newsroom. I'm Steve Adamson. Back to you, Jeanette. Sounds like our local crews are being proactive. Thanks, Steve.